On November 29, 2024, the Royal Navy's Type 23 frigate HMS St. Albans successfully completed a comprehensive midlife modernization program at its base in Devonport. This substantial upgrade, which ensures the ship's continued operational effectiveness, aligns with the Royal Navy's efforts to extend the lifespan of its aging fleet until 2035, when the St. Albans is scheduled to be replaced by more advanced Type 26 frigates. HMS St. Albans, commissioned in 2001 and built by BAE Systems, is a highly versatile Duke-class frigate. Originally designed for anti-submarine warfare during the Cold War, the ship has since been adapted for a variety of global missions, including peacekeeping operations, wartime duties, and humanitarian relief. This modernization project is vital to ensure that the frigate remains capable of meeting the evolving demands of naval operations. The modernization process, which required 1.2 million work hours, involved significant technological upgrades and rigorous crew training. The most notable enhancements include the installation of state-of-the-art equipment, ensuring the vessel is equipped to handle modern naval challenges. Additionally, a major component of the program was the Fleet Operational Sea Training FOSD which played a central role in preparing the crew for the ship's ongoing service. The FOSD program, which took the final six weeks of the modernization, focuses on operational readiness and emergency response scenarios, ensuring that the crew is prepared for external battle situations as well as internal crises such as firefighting and casualty management. Executive Officer Byron Lin emphasized the critical importance of the FOSD training phase, which integrated lessons from earlier training sessions and validated the ship's readiness for active duty. The program fostered a strong sense of cohesion among the 185 crew members aboard, who are now fully prepared for a range of complex missions in various environments. HMS St. Albans is equipped with an impressive array of technologies designed to handle modern naval warfare. The ship boasts five radar systems, six sonar systems, and eight weapon systems, including the Sea Scepter Air Defense System and a 114mm main gun with an impressive range of up to 18 nautical miles. Additionally, the frigate operates a Merlin MK-2 helicopter, further enhancing its anti-air and anti-submarine capabilities. The ship's versatility is also reflected in its capacity to accommodate up to 205 personnel, making it a formidable asset in global operations. The frigate has been involved in numerous significant missions, including Operation Kipion, which focuses on maritime security in the Gulf and Indian Ocean. With a top speed of 28 knots and a range of 7,800 nautical miles, St. Albans has logged over 38,000 miles in support of carrier task groups and other naval operations. This modernization represents a crucial phase in the life of the HMS St. Albans as it approaches the end of its service. While the ship remains a key asset to the Royal Navy, its eventual replacement by the Type 26 frigates is already underway. In November 2024, the construction of the first Type 26, HMS Sheffield, began in Glasgow, marking the beginning of a new era in the Royal Navy's fleet. Under a contract signed in April 2024, Babcock has taken on the responsibility of overseeing the upkeep and regeneration of the entire Type 23 fleet. This ensures that these frigates remain operational until their planned replacement by the more advanced Type 26 ships, which are designed for greater modularity and versatility. The successful modernization of HMS St. Albans reflects the Royal Navy's commitment to maintaining the operational readiness and effectiveness of its fleet ensuring the ship remains a key asset for strategic operations until its decommissioning in 2035. As the transition to the new Type 26 frigates begins, the St. Albans continues to play a vital role in the Royal Navy's global maritime security efforts, while contributing to the seamless evolution of the fleet's capabilities.